Yo guys, what is up? This is Tom from Unreal Meta and in this video I'm going to show you how to get this effect with edge masks in Blender 4.0. So let's start. So I've got this model of a pipe for demonstration and let's go to the shading tab and set up a new material. Let's just call this pipe. And basically there are a few methods for edge masks. And the first one would be to grab a geometry node. Now you can preview this by pressing Ctrl and Shift and then just left clicking on the node all at the same time. And if you go to pointiness, you can grab a color ramp, plug it in between. And if you shift these values a bit, you can see you get another result Let's switch that to rendered mode and also to cycles, GPU compute, and then you get the right result. And so all the areas that are black are your texture on the left and all the areas that are white are the areas at the edges. So let's plug this into the base color, preview in this node, and you would have a result like this. Okay, and another method would be to grab an ambient occlusion node and this would be the basic ambient occlusion. Let's grab a color ramp, plug it in between. And yeah, this is the ambient occlusion you bake and you can use this for edge masks, but I would recommend to experiment a bit. So let's check the inside box and then you get this result. Okay, let's drag it a bit to the top and then you can change those values. Also, you can switch them around and if you like, you can do this setup, copy and paste it. Okay, then switch this the other way around. Okay, then mix these two. I've done that by pressing Ctrl Shift, then right clicking and dragging from this note to this note and then you get the mix. Okay. And then you can just find a sweet spot you like. I think this looks quite good. Then of course you can grab another color ramp to amplify those colors. Something like that. And now you see there are different methods for the edge masks and you can do it how you like it. Let's use this top method. And what you can do is select a node, then press Ctrl T if you have Node Wrangler enabled. You can enable this by going to Preferences, Add-ons, and then searching for Node Wrangler. Okay, let's delete this image texture, plug this into the distance, and now we can preview our color ramp. And if I grab a noise texture, then mix this with the texture coordinate and plug it into the vector. You see, I get some noise and this can get a nice result too. Let's do some stronger noise, change some parameters. And then if the factor is set to zero, you have no noise. And if you drag it up, you get a bit noise. And this can also look very good. Make sure you plug this into the distance and not the normal because then you get some weird results you don't want. So yeah, plug it into the distance. And this looks very nice too. Okay, let's plug this into the distance of the upper ambient occlusion too. And now I will show you how you can use this edge mask. So I search for mix color. Then this goes into the factor. Now you see A are all these black areas and the B input are all the white areas. And now I basically want a metal material for the B input. So like the base. And the cool method with using this mix color is you can actually put textures into the inputs. So let's import some textures. I've got the steel texture. Let's plug it into the B input. And also, so you can see it better, let's plug this into the base color and preview this node. Okay, you see everything is stretched. So we can go into edit mode, press A, U and Smart UV Project. 
and you get a better UV unwrap. And now let's grab this, plug it into the A, and you can't see the ambient occlusion in preview mode, so you have to switch to rendered mode, and then you can see how this looks. Okay, let's try the same with the geometry and pointiness method. Let's plug this into the factor, switch it the other way around. And yeah, then you can decide what you like more, if you like this mask more or this mask. And also you can use this method for other maps like the normal map, the roughness map. So the areas with the rust got no shine. So what you could do is grab another mix node, then plug this in and then into the roughness. And now how the roughness works, if the value is very low, you have a lot of roughness. So I plug the rust into the A and for the A, we have to pick a very bright color. Make sure this is set to grayscale. And for B, we would have to pick a lower value because there I have the shiny metal. Now we could plug this into the roughness and it works perfectly fine. You can use the same method for the normal. So this is the normal map of the rusty metal. It goes into the A. This is the normal map of the shiny metal. It goes into the B. Then make sure to grab this normal map node. Color goes into color. And then this goes into the normal. Also make sure these two are set to non-color. So this works properly. And yeah, that's actually all I have to say. If you like this video, leave a thumbs up. If not, leave a thumbs down. I'll see you next time and bye.